Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh God, we want to just bless you right now, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. We glorify you, Lord. We lift you up and we praise your name, Lord. Oh Father God, right now we just want to welcome you into our atmosphere right now, Lord God. We want to give you permission, Father God, to take residence on the side of us, oh God. We want to give you permission, Father God, to come in and have your way, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you right now, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, Lord God. Oh God, we're asking that you would enter in right now, Father God, into our hearts and to our minds, oh God. Enter in right now, Father God, to this moment of time, Father God, into the places that we are right now, Father God. Wherever that we are, Lord God, we're asking that you would enter in, God. Enter in, Lord God, and have your way, Lord. Oh Father God, we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we grant you access right now, God, to come in and have your way, Lord God. We want to open up to you, Father God, and make my room for you to enter in, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we want to empty ourselves out totally and completely, Lord God, and give you in and everything that we carry, Father God. We want to be able to give you our full and undivided attention, Father God, because it's all about you, Lord God, and we don't want to be distracted, Father God. We don't want anything, Father God, from keeping us and giving you our best, Lord God, because you have given us your very best each and every day, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we're asking that you would decrease the Lord, that you may increase, Lord. Move by your spirit, Father God. Move everything out the way, Lord God, that's not like you, Lord God. Oh God, we want to empty it all out right now, Father God. And we can give you our whole heart, Father God. And our mind will be focused on, Lord God. And that we can give you our best praise and worship, Lord. Oh God, we bless you right now, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh God, we open up our hearts and let them be postured towards you, Lord God. And let our mind be focused on, Lord God. So we want to give you everything that we may be carrying, Lord God. Knowingly and unknowingly, Lord. God. We want to give you every problem, worry, and concern, Lord. Every situation and circumstance, God. We want to give it all to you, Lord, and lay it at your feet, God. We want to cast our cares upon you, Lord, because we know that you care for us, God. We want to give you those heavy weights and heavy burdens, oh God. Those things that cause us to have a strain on our brain, Father God. Those situations and those circumstances, God, that we have no control over, Lord. We want to give you all these things, God, that you can fill us with more of you, God. So, God, we want to pour it all out to you, Father God. We want to lay it at your feet, Lord God. And we're going to put it in your hands, God, because your hands are the best hands to put it in, Lord God. Oh, God, we're going to pour it all out to you, Father God, that you may enter into our hearts, Lord God, and fill our hearts with the more of your love, Lord God. Oh, God, we want to pour it all right now, all out right now, Father God, that we may have that confidence and that assurance in you, Lord God. No one trusts and believe, Lord God, that you can take care of these things, God. We want to pour it all out, Father God, because we want to give you the best of us, God, because you deserve our very best, Lord. So we lay it at your feet right now, Father God, and we put it in your hands, Lord God, that we may rest in you, Lord God. We may have that peace of mind on today, Father God. Oh, God, we want to ask you to enter in, God. Enter in and have your way, Lord. We welcome you, Father God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord God. Oh, God, we want to give you our best praise and worship, Lord God. We want to give you everything that's due unto you that's required of us, God, because you deserve it all, Lord God. So fill up our hearts, God. Fill up our minds, God. Enter in, Father God, and search yourself into our situation and circumstance, oh God. Oh God, enter in right now, God. And search yourself into our families, oh God. Touch each and every one of us, oh God, and let your presence be made known, Father God. Oh God, saturate the atmosphere right now, God. Enter in and have your way, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, oh God. Oh God, we want to hear your voice, oh God. We want to be caught up in your presence, God, and feel your warm embrace, oh God, because there's no other place that we'd rather be, Father God, and laying at your feet, Father God, resting in your arms, God, in that safe and secure and safe place, oh God. Oh God, we want you to take us there right now, Father God, because we know that nothing else can dwell within your presence, oh God. Not no problems and words and concerns, God. Not no aches and no pains, God. Not no arguments or no descriptions, oh God. Oh God, we want to enter into that space and that moment with you, Father God, that we can rest in you, God, that we can have that peace of mind, God, that we can feel that joy, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we're asking that you would enter in, oh God, and feel the 
the rooms in our hearts, God, in our minds, God, in our spiritual lives and our natural lives, God. Oh, God, meet us here right now in this moment in time, Father God, because we don't want to be caught up and wrapped up in anything else but you, Father God. Oh, God, take us there right now, Lord God. Lead us to that place of today, Father God. And where you are, Father God, that's where we want to be, Lord God. So lead us by your spirit, Lord God. And let your spirit, Father God, take residence in these rooms, Lord God. Oh God, we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, God. Oh Lord, intervene, Father God, and let us feel you, Lord God. Intervene right now, Father God, and we can hear the sound of your voice, Father God, and we can give you the best of us, God, because you deserve our best, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we are preparing the space in our hearts for you to come in, Lord God, and we're getting rid of all the clutter, Lord God, and all the baggage, Lord God, all the concerns and all the issues, Lord God. Those things, oh God, that cause to be messed up, oh God. Oh God, we want to let it all out to you right now, Father God. In and everything that's concerning or pertains to God. We want to give it all to you right now, Father God, because we want to be filled with the more of you, God. Oh God, enter in, Lord. In surrender right now, Father God, and have your way, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking right now that you will be the key to unlock those doors, Lord God, that all that hidden stuff can come out, Lord God. I'm asking right now, Father God, that you will be the light, Lord God, to shine on those dark spots, Lord God, and those places, Lord God, to dig out the cobwebs, Lord God, that all those places and empty spaces can be emptied out, Lord God, they can be filled with the more of you, Lord God, because we want the more of you, Lord God. We don't want to be consumed by anything else, Lord God. So wrap us up in your presence right now, Father God, and we can rest in Lord God. Let us be all caught up in you, Father God, that we can enter into that safe and that sacred place, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord. Oh Father God, touch our hearts and touch our minds, Lord God, that we can give you our best on today, Father God. Touch our hearts and touch our minds, Lord God, and that we, Father God, will give you our undivided attention, Father God, our full attention, Lord God. Oh God, enter in and have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. And we're not going to fight up against you, Lord. God. We're not going to be in the tug of war, Father God. We're going to allow you to come in and consume us by your presence, Lord God, because we know, Father God, as long as we are wrapped up and caught up in you, Father God, that we'll have that joy within God. We'll have that peace within, Father God. We know, Father God, that any everything, Father God, that may be going on with us, that you can take care of the Lord, that you can handle it, Lord God. So, God, I'm asking right now that you'll speak to our hearts, Lord God, that you will touch our minds, Lord God, and let's be on one accord and unison in the spirit, Lord God. Oh, God, touch us on this morning, Father God, that we'll be true to ourselves, that we'll be true to you, Father God. Oh, God, touch us right now, Father God, that we can feel your warm embrace, Father God, because we know, Lord God, we don't even have to see you to feel you, Lord God. So wrap your arms around us right now, Father God, and fill us up from even the more, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we welcome you, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord. Oh, Father God, we want to give you our best praise and worship on today, Father God. We want to praise and worship you in spirit and truth, Father God. So we come before you right now, Father God, with bowed head and humble hearts, oh God. We come before you, Father God, in our purest and our rarest form, Father God. Naked, unafraid, and unashamed, Father God. Not holding anything back, Father God, but giving you everything, Lord God. Not because it was told to us, Father God. It was taught to us, Father God, or what we saw, or what we read about, Father God, but because, Lord God, you have done so much for us, oh God, and we don't want to hold anything back, Father God, we don't want to short you, God, we don't want to cheat you, Father God, we want to give you all that's due unto you, Father God, that's required of us, and give it to you willingly right now, Father God, because you are the best to us, oh God, and we want to give you our best, Lord, all right now, Father God, we want to tell you thank you, Lord God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done for us, and more, Father God, for everything that you represent, Lord God, oh God, we want to bless you right now, Father God. You have done so much for us, Lord God. You woke us up on this morning. You have breathed breath within our body, Father God. It's because of you, Father God, our very existence on today is because of you, Lord God. All right now, Father God, we want to give you the gratitude and thanks that you deserve, Father God. And we want to give you credit where credit is due, Father God. Because we know, Lord God, there were many times in our life that we did not give you, Father God, what was due to you, Father God. We didn't give you credit where credit is due, Father God. But on today, we want to give you your flowers, Lord God. On today, Father God, we want to give you something that you deserve, Father Father God, and giving you, giving it to you, Father God, from the the depths of our hearts and the peace of our soul, Father God. And that's our praise and worship, Lord God. And you know, Father God, when it's in the true and rarest form, Lord God. And we know, Father God, that you have done so much for us, Lord God. So we willingly want to give it to you, Lord. Oh God, we bless you today, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Father God. You have been there with us ever since the beginning of time, Father God. When we came out of our mother's bellies, Lord God, you were right there, God, and you kept your hand on us, Lord God. Anything could have happened, Father God. But you steadied the hand on today, Father God. And you allowed us to be covered in space. 
today, Father God, to make it to where we are on today, Lord God. And we want to tell you thank you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we know if it had not been for you, Lord God, we don't know where we would do or where we would be, Father God. And that is why we want to give you our best praise and worship on today, God. Oh, God, we love you, Lord. We adore you, God. We appreciate you, Father God. The story that you have written for us, Lord God, we know a long time ago, Father God, we could have been dead and gone. But on today, Father God, you allow us to still be here breathing on today, Father God. Every experience, Lord God, every encounter, Lord God, it was all because of you, Lord God. And we're not going to hold back, Father God. We're not going to allow a rock to cry up for us, Father God, and anybody to come before us on our behalf, Father God. We're going to give you, Father God, everything that we have on today because you deserve it, God. And you are more than worthy of our praise and worship, God. So right now, Lord God, we want to tell you thank you, Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, God. Lord, we owe it all to you, Father God. All the things that we have been through, Father God, we will be wrong, Father God, not to give you what's required of us, Lord God, because you deserve it, God, and so much more. So right now, Father God, we just want to bless you, God. We want to tell you thank you, Father God. We want to glorify and honor you, Father God, and let you know, Father God, that you are first and foremost within our life, Father God. Nothing before you, Father God. Nothing compared to you, Lord, and nothing is equal to you, Father God. You are Alpha and the Omega, God. You are the beginning and the end of the author and the finisher lord we just want to bless you right now god and give you the, our true and rarest form father god give you our best praise and worship on today because you deserve it all lord god and we bless you right now god we bless you we bless you we bless you god glory hallelujah to your name god we lift you up and we exalt you god we lift you up we lift you up we lift you up right now father god and we dare not allow anything to be exalted higher than you father god because we know that you are bigger father god you're all powerful god you're all knowing lord god nothing can compare to you god oh lord we bless you right now god we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you father god from the depths of our hearts and the pits of our soul, God. You are so worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Father God. And nobody has to make us. Nobody has to unction us, God. We're doing it willingly on today, Father God, because you have done so much to us, Lord God. And we know, Father God, we cannot repay you for all that we could done, Father God. But the least that we can do is give you our best praise and worship, Lord. So we come before you right now, Father God. And we just want to tell you thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God, for any and everything that you have done for us, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we bless you, Lord God, for the clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet, and the food on our table, Father God, for the transportation that you have provided for us, Lord. We want to take a thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the jobs that you have given us, Lord God, that we have a way to have income, Father God, and take care of our families, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we want to take a thank you, Father God. We thank you for the unmerited favor that you show us each and every day, Father God, for the grace and mercy that you bestow upon us, Lord God, that we cannot earn God. We don't deserve it, Lord God, but you give it to us renew each and every day, God. We want to tell you, thank you, Lord. You are so worthy, Father God. You have done so much for us, oh God. We cannot even keep count of all the wonderful, marvelous things that you have done for us, Lord. And right now, we just want to say you thank you, oh God. Not coming to you asking for anything, Father God. Not grumbling or complaining, Father God, but simply giving you our best, Lord God. Praising you, God. Worshiping you, Lord God. Glorifying you and honoring you, Lord God. You do so much for us, Lord God. And the least that we can do is take the time out in our day to just tell you thank you, Lord God. And acknowledge you, Lord God, just for simply being who you you are God. Oh God, you are so glorious, Lord. You are so amazing, God. You are truly one of a kind, Father God. And we come before you right now. We just want to bow down and worship you, God. Take a kneel before you once today, God. Humble ourselves before you, Father God, and give it to you in each and every way that we can, Father God. Whether we clap our hands and stomp our feet, whether we sing, God, whether we Swing and sway, Lord God. Whether we dance, Lord God. Whether we wor worship and glorify you, Lord God. However, Lord God, you allow us to give you that praise, that sound that you deserve and you delight in here. That's what we want to do on today because you deserve it all, Lord. So we just worship you right now, God. Oh, God, right now we just want to spend some time with you, Father God, basking in your praise, Lord God. Right now, Father God, we just want to spend some time loving on you, Father God, because you love on us so much, Father God. Even in spite of us being us, God, you are still always there, God showing up for us, Lord God, doing what needs to be done, Father God, fixing what needs to be fixed, even when we mess the things up, God, you are always still there, Lord God, showing us that you care, Lord God, and we just want to bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh, God, we want to let you know that you are our Lord and our Savior, Father God. And we acknowledge you as being so, God. We acknowledge you right now, Father God, for being He, the great I am. Oh, God, we want to let you know right now that we know that all things are possible with and through you, Father God. That you are a can-do God. Not a, get, not a God of I can't, but a God of I can. And we just want to bless you once today, God. Oh, Lord, we want to give you all the salutations right now, Lord. Oh, God, you are so worthy, Lord. You're worthy, you're worthy, Father God. And you're greatly 
worthy to be praised, Lord. And we just want to worship you, God. We just want to worship you right now, God. We just want to bless you, Lord God. We just want to praise you, God. Glory, hallelujah, we lift you up, God. Glory, hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you right now, Lord. Oh, God, you are so worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. And we're willingly giving it to you right now, Lord God. It's not nothing that has to be forced or taught to, Lord God, but we're giving it to you willingly, Lord God, because you do so much for us, Lord God. And the least that we can do, Father God, is praise and worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, Lord. And that is what we want to do right now, Lord. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. Oh, God, we're asking right now that your spirit will enter in even the more, Lord God, that you will drink us right now, God. Cover us, Lord God. Fill our hearts, God, with the more of you, God, that we may worship you even the more, Lord God. Oh, God, we praise your name on today, Father God. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the great I am, Father God. You are greatly to be praised, God, and we bless you right now, Lord God. We bless you right now, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. We want to tell you how much we love you, God. How much we adore you. How much we appreciate you, God. That you are the apple of our eye, Father God. You are our very heart desire, God. That you are our greatest treasure, Lord. Oh, God, we want to tell you how much we appreciate you today, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. Oh, Lord, we know that we don't tell you thank you enough or out loud enough, Father God. Often enough right, right now, Lord God, we want to tell you thank you, God. We want to show you our appreciation, Father. God. We dare not sit in silence, Lord God. We want to allow the Father God to come from out of our souls, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. You have provided for us, Lord God. You have met our needs, Lord God. You even have kept us in our right state of mind when we could have lost our minds, Lord. Oh, God, you are so glorious and wonderful, God. You are marvelous in all of your ways, Lord God. You always cease to, never cease to amaze us, Father God. You always leave us in awe, Father God. We just want to bless you right now, God. We know, Father God, we will not be here once a day if we have not done what you have did, Lord God. All those years ago, Father God, when you sacrificed your only son, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. You gave your son, Father God, that we may have new life, Lord God. And we want to tell you, thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that you made the ultimate sacrifice for us, Lord God, that we can have this one-on-one -on -one communication with you, Father God, that we, Father God, don't have to allow anybody else to go before us, Lord God, that we can come to you ourselves, Father God, just the way that we are, Father God, naked, unafraid, and unashamed, Father God, and our purest and rawest form, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we just want to tell you, thank you, God. There was no one who is more powerful than you, Father God. No one who is more wiser than you, Lord God. No one, Father God, who can do for us what you can, you can, Lord God. Like you do it for us, when you do it for us, and how you do it, Lord God. No one can compare to you, God. And we just bless you right now, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you once today, God. We thank you once today, Father God, that we can stand on your word, Lord God. We know, Father God, that you're God that does not change you. Always remain the same, Father God. You are dependable. You are loyal. You are trusted, trustworthy. You are faithful, Lord. And we just bless you right now, God. Thank you, Lord God, for being in and everything that we need to be, Father God, and so much more, God. Thank you for being what we need you to be, Father God, even when we don't know that we need you to be, it, God. You are always there, God. You never fail us, Lord God. You have been right there with us to the very beginning of time and to the very end, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for never leaving our side, Father God. Even when we switch up on you, God, you never switch up on us, Father God. Even when we turn our backs on you, God, you never turn your back on us, Lord God. Even when sometimes, Father God, we go silent, we don't want to speak to you, Father God, you're still speaking to us in so many ways, God, and we thank you for all the ways that you speak to us, Lord God. Oh, God, your communication with us is so precious, God. We don't take it for granted, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for that communication that you have with us, Lord God. Even when we don't want to hear it, Father God, even when we take a turn of deaf ear, Lord God, because we be in our feelings, Lord God. We thank you that you never give up on us, God. Oh, we bless you today, Lord. We glorify you, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. Oh, God, you are so glorious, God. You are so marvelous, God. You are truly amazing, God. Thank you for everything that you are to us, God. We are nothing without you, God. And all that we are, Father God, is because of you, Lord God. And I bless you today, God. 
I bless you on today, Father God, because everything that you have put on the inside of us, Lord God, we thank you for allowing that stuff to grow in us, Lord God, that we may be able to become all that you are preordaining, predestined for us to be, Lord. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. It's what you put on the inside of God. It's the visions and the dreams that you have given us, Lord God. It's the creativity, Father God, that you have put in us, Lord God. You are the one, Lord God, who gave us the wisdom and the knowledge, Lord God. It's nothing that we did on our own, Father God. Even as we go on, go on through school, Father God, and got the doctorates and the diplomas and degrees, Lord God, you are the one who allowed us to obtain that knowledge and that wisdom, God. We thank you, Lord God, because you knew exactly where you were taking us, Lord God. You knew exactly what we needed to be equipped with, Father God, to be able to get to where we are going now, Father God. And even if we have not yet reached that destination, Lord God, we know, Father God, that you have an expected end for us, God, that you have a plan for us, Lord, that is of good and not of evil, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, for putting that push and that press and that endurance spirit on that side, Lord God, that we don't give up, Lord God, because we know that our greater is coming, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Father God. We know it's not over yet, Father God. You are the one, Father God, that has the final say, God. And we thank you, God, for helping us to continue to press, God. We thank you once today, Father God, because sometimes your people feeling like giving up and throwing the towel in, Father God. Sometimes your people feel like they have endured all that they can endure, Father God. But we know, Father God, that you can tell us, Father God, exactly what we need to do, Father God, and we know that we are stronger than we think we are, Father God, because you would not give us too much that we can handle, Father God. You would not put more on our plate, Father God, that you know that we're not equipped with handling, Lord, and we thank you, God, that you equip us with these things, Father God, that we'll be able to handle each and every situation that we go through, Father God, and if we cannot, Father God, we know that you are there to be our ever-present help when we are in the time of need, Father God, to be our strength, Father God, when we're at our weakest moments, Lord God. You are our comfort. You are our protector, Lord God. You are everything that we we need you to be God. And we thank you, Father God, for being all that for us, Lord. Oh, we thank you once today, God. Oh, God, we give you all our blessings right now, God. All of our gratitude and appreciation, God. Because you do so much for us, Lord God. You are our Lord and our Savior, Lord God. And we glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We lift you up, God. We lift you up, God. We lift you up, God. Glory, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord God. You are amazing, God. You are amazing, God. And there's none of the like you, Father God. None that can compare to you, Lord God. And none that is equal to you, Father God. Oh, God, you are so wonderful, Lord God. And we bless you, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we just want to come before you and bow to you right now to your throne, Father God, and humble ourselves before you, Father God. Oh, God, you are amazing in all of your ways, Lord God. And we give you permission, Father God, to come in and have your way within our life, Lord. Let your will be done, Father God. Give us a heart of acceptance, Father God, that we'll allow your will, Father God, to become life within our life of today, Father God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking that you continue to put your spirit deep down on the inside of us, Lord God. That we'll be able to take with whatever that we go, Father God, because we are nothing without your spirit, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we need you, God. We need you, Father God, to continue to fill us, Lord God. We need you to continue to guide us, Lord God. We need you, Father God, to continue to speak to our hearts, Lord God, because we don't know what to do, how to do it, or which way to go without you, Lord God. You are our God and light, Lord God. So I'm asking right now, Father God, that you will order our footsteps and direct our path, Lord. That you will lead us, God, to show us the way, Father God. Tell us what to do and how to do it, even when to do, Father God, because we don't know, Father God. But we know, Father God, that you are the author and the finisher, Lord God. You are the one who wrote our story, Father God. And you're still mapping it out for us, God. We ain't seen nothing yet, Lord. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for even allowing us to scratch the surface, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the bits and pieces that you allow us to experience of those good things that you have in store for us, God. But we know, Father God, that you have to continue to prepare us, Father God, for what you have in store, Father God, for that grand finale, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, Father God, for preparing us to receive what you have for us, God, because you know when we are ready to receive a thing, God. We know, you know when we are ready to move forward, God. And we thank you once today, Father God, for knowing what's best for us, Lord God. Each and every step of the way, Father God, as we go throughout this journey in life, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you right now, God. We bless you, Father God, and we thank you, Lord God, for giving us so many things that we are so undeserving for, Lord God. You are so gracious. You are so merciful, God. Oh, God, we bless you today, God. We bless you. We bless you, God. 
You are truly amazing, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for leaving us in our each and every day, Lord. We bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, I'm asking right now, God, that you would touch your people, Lord God, across this nation, Lord God, and that you would fill them on today, God, with the more of your love, God, with the more of your truth, God. I'm asking you to fill your people on today, Father God, and let them be in that right state of mind, Lord God. Oh, God, touch right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking right now that you would touch our loved ones, oh God. You know exactly who they are, Father God. Those who weigh heavy on our hearts and our minds each and every day, Father God. We cast those cares upon you, Lord God. We give you those burdens, Lord God, because we know, Father God, that you are our burden bearer, Father God. That you said that your burdens are easy and your yoke is like God. So we give you these things that we carry for our loved ones, God. And we ask God that you will fill us, God, with your peace, your joy, and your laughter, and the confidence and assurance, God, knowing that you will take care of them as well, Father God, because what you do for one, you do for the other, God. You have no respect for person, God. Person, God. You don't play favorites, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we just want to come before you, Lord God, as we have poured all these things out, giving you our best praise and earth worship, Lord God, and ask God that you will replenish us, Lord God, we will refresh us, Lord God, revive us, Lord God. Put back into us, Lord God, those things that are like you, Lord God, and allow them to grow, flourish, and thrive, Father God, and be nurtured even the more, God, that we may mature in you, Lord God. Oh, God, touch us right now, Father God, spiritually as well as naturally, God, and refresh your people, Lord God, that they will have what they need, Father God, and continue to be equipped to go throughout this journey in life, Father God, spiritually or naturally, Lord God, because we know that the journey is long, Father God, and sometimes it may be a struggle, Father God. Sometimes there may be a mountain that needs to be climbed, a challenge that needs to be faced, and people that are going to come up against it, Lord God, but we know, Father God, that you are right there, Lord God. So right now, God, we stand before you with our arms open wide, our arms open wide, our hearts open, God, our hands open to you, Lord God. We ask God that you will replenish us, God. Fill us back up, Lord God. Because some of your people have emptied out things, Lord God, and there is nobody to pour back into them, God, but you are the source, Lord God. You are the well that never runs dry, Father God, and you will give us what we need, Lord God. So God, touch your people today, Lord, and fill them, God. Fill them right now, Father God, with the more of your spirit until they overflow, God, until they have no room, Father God, that they will have what they need, Father God, when they pour into somebody else, Lord God, they will not feel drained, they will not feel empty, Lord God, they will not feel like their spirits is running low, Father God. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God, even in the natural, Lord God, so many things that your people have given in their resources, God, but we know that you are the sole source of it all, Father God, that you will replenish those natural resources as well, Lord God. So God, if they be in the need, Lord God, I'm asking you to meet the need and solve the problem, Father God. Even if it's finances, Lord God, you hold all the silver and the gold in the palm of your hand, Father God. You have the largest bank account there is, Lord God. You are the one, Father God, who has has the the final. The, you are the one, Father God. You are the one, Father God, that has the first tapping into, Father God, when it comes to the resources, Lord God. You have the access to all of it, Lord God. So let your people know on today, Father God, that there's no need that you cannot need, Father God. There's no source, Father God, that you not cannot give them access to, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on today, Lord. Touch your people on today, Father God, and refill them on today, Father God. Wherever that thing is that they need, Father God, I'm asking on today, Father God, that you will fill your people, Lord God. Fill up that space in between, Lord God, where they feel like they are empty, Lord God, from the loss of a loved one, God. Be the comfort, Lord God, and fill them with comfort on today, Father God. Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. They feel like they had a loss of love and joy, Father God. Replenish them on today, Father God. Give them your love, your joy, and your peace, God. Oh God, we fill your people on today, Father God. And let them know, Father God, that you are the sole source of it all, Father God. That you never run dry, Father God. And whenever they feel empty, Father God, to tap into you, Father God, that you may fill them, Lord. So, Father God, we come before you right now, God, with our cups, with our arms, Father God, with our hearts and minds, that you may fill us, Lord God, with the right way of thinking, Father God. Fill our hearts, Lord God, with the right kind of love, Father God, that we will forgive, Father God. We will not be harboring unforgiveness, Lord God. We will not be harboring bitterness, Lord God, and anger and hatred, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking right now, Father God, you'll take away all those things that are not like you, Lord God. Empty us out, Father God, and fill us up even the more, God, that we'll be complete in you, Lord God. Every crack and every crevice and every void in between, Lord God. God, fill us right now, Lord God. Oh God, we just want to say you thank you right now, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God, for replenishing us, Lord God, in every area of our life, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for the refill, Lord God, because you are that fountain of 
of life that we need, Father God. And we know, Father God, any time that we run low, Father God, we can come to you, the source, and be refilled and be replenished, Lord. We thank you for the replenishing, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you once today, Father God, that we may continue to go on, Father God. We may continue, Father God, to endure this journey, Father God. We may continue, Father God, to complete the tasks that are laid before us, God, spiritually, as well as naturally, Lord God. Oh God, I'm going to ask right now, God, do you give those who need rest? Who need rest spiritually or natural, Lord God, that you'll give them that rest on today, Father God. For their laboring, Lord God, spiritually as well as naturally, Lord God. Oh Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now to hear the hearts cry of your people, Father God, as they come to you, God, and their moans, their groans, their screams, their tears, and in their silence, God, to see about your people, Lord God. I plead the blood of Jesus over the lives of your people, Father God. I plead the blood of Jesus over those, Father God, who are newly coming to you, Father God. Those babes in Christ, Father God, they, Father God, will be led, Father God, to you the right way, Father God, and they will not be led astray, Lord God. Oh, God, fill your babes in Christ on today, Father God, with the more of your word, the more of your truth, Father God. And they, Father God, will know you for themselves, Lord God, as they are introduced to you, Lord God. They will not be led to the slaughter, Lord God, but they will be led, Father God, to true life on today, Father God. Healing and deliverance, salvation on today, God. Oh, God, touch on today, Lord God. All of your people across this nation, Father God, each and every one of us, Lord God, even those, Father God, who are seasoned in you, Lord God. I'm asking that you will replenish them, Father God, cover them in the blood, Father God, because we know know, Father God, that there's some things that they go through and they experience, Lord God. Lord, I'm asking right now, Father God, that you give them the more of you want today, Father God. That they may continue, Father God, to stand and stand firm, Father God. They will not waver, Father God. They will not doubt, Father God. They will not allow anything to come into their lives and cause them to compromise, oh God. Lord, give your people the more of you want today, Father God. Lord, we ask for the more of you, God. We crave for the more of you, Father God, because we know that we don't have you, Lord God. We have nothing, Father God. Without you, our life has no worth and no value, Father God. So as you be fill us, Lord God, give us the more of you, Father God. Oh God, I'm ask right now that you give us that hunger and that thirst for you that we need, Father God, even the more, Lord God, that our hearts will desire you even the more, Father God, that it will go to a deeper place with you, Father God, that our intimate relationship, Father God, Father God, will bond with you, Father God, on a greater level, Father God, that we have before, Father God, that we can continue, Father God, to stay connected to you, Father God, because if we don't stay connected to you, Father God, the wrong things will start happening, Lord God. So give us the more of you want today, Father God. And we willingly receive you right now, God. Oh, Lord, our hearts are open to you right now, Father God, because we know, Father God, if you don't do anything else, God, that you'll see about us, Lord God. You're the only one, Father God, who would meet our, meet our needs and solve our problems, Lord God. So we receive you right now, God. We submit and we commit to you in all our ways, God. We surrender all, surrender all to you, Father God. Our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls, and our spirit, Father God. We give all to you right now, God, that you can give us the more of you, Lord God. And nothing else matters right now in this moment of time but you, Father God. We always have time for other things, Father God. We always, Father God, giving time to other people, Lord God. But we want to give you our time right now, Lord God. We want to make time for you intentionally, Lord God. That we can receive the more of you, Lord God. Because all you want us to do is build a relationship with you, Father God. All you want us to do, Father God, is make that sacrifice, Father God. So right now, Father God, we sacrifice ourselves, Lord God. We present ourselves, Father God, to you as a temple that you may dwell in, Father God. Our houses, our homes, we welcome you right now, God. And we will be presentable, Father God, and pleasing in your sight, Lord God. So if there be anything inside of us that's not like you, Lord God, we ask that you take it all away, Lord. There's nothing left but you, Father God. Forgive us for all of our sins, Lord, and all of our wrongdoings, Lord God. We want to walk before you, Father God, and live a life that's righteous, Father God, and pleasing in your sight, Lord God. We truly desire to make you smile, Father God, in every area, every aspect of our life, Father God. Oh God, we're coming before you, Father God, and ask that you show us the error in our ways, Lord God. Show us anything, Father God, that causes us not to be pleasing in your sight, Father God, and help us to turn from these things, Lord God. Have a heart of remorse and repentance, Father God. God, and truly be sorry, Father God, for what we have done, Father God, and not do it again intentionally, Lord God. So we come before you, Father God, with bowed head and humble hearts, Lord God, asking you, Lord God, to make us over, change the real Lord God, that we could be more like you and be a reflection of you, God, be made in you and your image on today, Father God. Oh, God, it is us, Lord God, your children, your people, Lord God. We are coming to you, Father God, and our hearts are crying out to you because we need you, Lord God. We cannot do this without you, Lord God. We're asking for your help, Lord God, because it's a struggle time sometimes, Lord God. We're asking for your help, Lord God, because we know, Father God, that we cannot do it without you, Lord God. So we are open up to you right now, Lord God, that you may give us what we need. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you right now, God. 
We thank you right now, Father God, for meeting us right here in this moment, in this time, in this space, in this place that we are in, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to get wrapped up in your presence, God, to be in your warm embrace, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the more of you, God, for refilling us, for replenishing us, Father God, for refreshing us, restoring us, and reviving us, God, putting us back in our pro proper places and positions in you, Father God. Thank you for repositioning us, Lord God. And let us remember who we are and whose we are, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you on today, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to touch your people on today, Father God. Those who don't know who they are, Lord God. I'm asking today, Father God, they will be introduced to you, Father God. They will know who they are and whose they are, God. And they will never forget it, Lord God. Oh, Lord, you know them by name, Father God. You know exactly where they are, God. I'm asking that you will meet them there today, Lord God. And they will surrender all and say yes to you, Lord God. That you can give them the more of you, Lord God. Oh, God, touch your people on today, Father God, because we all need you in some form, shape, or fashion, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking right now that you would touch your people on today, Father God, because even if they don't know that they need you, Lord God, I know that they need you, Lord God. So I stand in the gap and I intercede for them on their behalf, Father God. I'm asking that you would see about them on today, Father God. And I'm asking God that you would give them the more of you, Lord God. Let them experience you, God. Let them encounter you, Lord God. Let them know that you are real, Lord. Oh, Lord, we bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, Lord. Father God, I ask right now that you continue to hear our prayers, Lord God, consider them and answer them, Lord God. That you will touch every prayer on the prayer wall, Father God, every prayer on the altar, in the altar box, Lord God. And consider those prayers, Lord God, all across the nation, Lord God. Oh Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. And hear their hearts cry, Lord God. And according to your will, your purpose, and your timing, Father God, I am asking that you will answer those prayers, Lord. And I pray all these things, Lord, in your son, Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I've been long to have an with God. But Thank if you, you would just in this moment lift your hands one more time. I want you to know that our Father is here. He knows everything. There's nothing that happens in your world that catches him by surprise. He sees every tear. 